Hello everyone! Welcome to our Viking town! Hope you guys are doing great today. We are still building on our blacksmith, it's taken a while. And in the previous episode we also designed a Viking ship that we're gonna have here. And you guys can download this already and use it in your own town if you wish to do so from the Steam Workshop. So I hope you guys can enjoy that. So some things I want to look on today. I want to look on our animals for a bit. So we have some little, I think it was, was it chicken or ducks? I think it was ducks, right? Yeah. We got some little, the beautiful little ducks. We got some simple cover in here. And we've also made a field over here that we have some animals, some sheep in this one. And uh, what I want to do here is that I want to give them like a home. I want to have some beds for them. So that's what we can uh, be adding today. And I think I may already have a suitable place for that. I'm going to use one of these, I think. Page your home small. And the, the good thing with these are that we can... Take one of these and connect it with another one. We can even put four pieces together and then we can make like an, a roof in between those two. So this will be like the resting place for our sheep and um, I'm gonna have it something like, like this. And then we do another one over here. And under those we're gonna be able to put some beds and uh, if we want to make it longer we can do that as well. Because maybe we want to have it a little bit bigger so we can fit all those beds under there. Like that, pretty good. Pretty simple to build as well. Let's build all four of these. There's only gonna be a bit of thatch and a bit of wood to do those. But I see we are super low in wood. So we have to go out to the wilderness and chop a little bit. So let's see, where can we gather some wood without destroying the beautiful nature? Let's get some outside of here. It's gonna be a little bit of walk to go there. But I'm also making sure to use the gather and replant. So whenever it's possible to replant trees, we will do so. So let's go and gather quite a few of those. We do have roads to get fairly close to that place, so it's not going to take an insane amount of time to go there. And I wonder how we do in here, so we have our exploration gardens. I'm just going to refill the garden with the fertilizer so we can use it to find new crops again. This command is active by default. Okay, we have to wait for that then. Strange trading. A hooded figure appears silently and seemingly out of nowhere. Greetings, I have taken a risk for the chance at your garden's bounty. Don't take my little garden over here that I was just looking at. <laughs> Perhaps a trade. It seems she means that she wants some vegetables. Sure thing, let's get some basket. Oh wow, we have a lot of vegetables. Go and get some. You're free to take even more than that. The vista nods, dropping a few small pouches of gold dust into your hands as payment before bounding away basket in arms. We got some beautiful gold flakes, thank you, thank you. Little bunny person, I know you're a bunny because I've met you before. Okay, they're building a little bit more on that. And um, I want to see if we can potentially improve our herb list a bit as well. But before I do that, I want to make sure, because I'm not entirely sure if I put out a manger here. Yeah, it seems I didn't. So a manger is a place where you will be putting out food. And I'm gonna put one in... Let's go with this one. We can have some sheep food. We can go and eat a little bit, maybe under this beautiful tree. That can be a nice spot. I would go there if I was a sheep. Get a little bit of cover next to the trees and eat a little bit of food and drink a little bit of water. And we can maybe even have two of those. I'm not sure if we need two of them, but I'm gonna go for two this time. And for now, I'm not going to add any fences around. We're going to kind of let them wander around, kind of freely around here. And if we want them to walk around even more freely, we can uh, untick this one. Then they will not be going around, trying to return them to their place. But now they will do so. It really depends on how we want to do it. So if we unleash some ducks around town, we can just remove collect strays. Okay, let's see here. What are we missing? We're missing wood, yes. Okay, so let's take our soldiers. Disable the job, that means they can help around town with other things. More important tasks like harvesting, holding items, and building and whatever they might need to be able to do. But we're probably gonna get quite a bit of wood pretty quick now, I think. And another thing would be potentially we could change someone so they will be doing some other things. So at the moment the Ragnar was uh, pretty much only doing mining. Um, but we can have... Um, 
Let's have Jodis and Ragnar to uh, not to do any building at all. We make sure they are going around doing other things, mining and moving around items. Even though we have our beautiful creakers to do that, look how many people there are here, that's crazy. So many. Okay, since you are busy doing things, look at that armor by the way, that's looking beautiful. I love that outfit, the coloration, the little beautiful dude helmet looks awesome. But uh, let's make sure we have food uh, for uh, sheep as well. So there are quite a few different foods. Uh, currently we make an animal fodder. This works for anyone in town. For the animals that is. And then we have a pollo feed. But let's look for some sheep feed as well. So to make this one. We need to have some mm, bundle of fiber and zesty herbs. Tasty grasses for sheep. Okay, this one's going to be kind of troublesome to do it, I think, if we need fiber. Okay. I'm going to make it in five. Uh, but what we could do would be to increase this amount to potentially ten. I don't know. Let's give that a try. Let's make sure we have food at least. So sheep feed is a better feed, but uh, they will still be able to go with uh, the normal animal fodder. Look at them. Long wool sheep is enjoying a little bit of that. And... Uh, cold weather. Yeah, I'm gonna put some beds under here as well. So, let's see if you have any beddings. I think I may have to craft a few. Dry thatch bed. It's like the better place for pets to sleep. Okay, so we, not that one. We need a pasture bedding. So, I'm gonna make 10 of these. Wow, they are really expensive. I think we can have like 9 sheep or something like that, couldn't we? Wow, okay, that's gonna be... Quite expensive. We are growing some barley though, so that should probably provide a bit of fat. There's also some little bit of sheety ways that you can also get some fat pretty quickly. And how would you do that? Pretty much you would make like an, for example, a road. Make it in wood. Make them mine everything out. And when you're about to build it or after you have built it, you just destroy it and you get a lot of fetch. So it depends if you want to do that way or not. If you're okay with that. I don't think we're gonna do that. But you can definitely do that if that's what you want to do. I'm thinking I'm gonna harvest some grass here. Because that grass we turn into animal fodder so it becomes better food. Plus we're also getting the grass which should be possible to get some fetch. As you can see grass becomes fetch. That's good. Okay. And our happy chickens over here, how are they doing? Looks like they're doing pretty fine. Got a little chicken, chicken, peep peep. That's pretty awesome. So uh, let's have a little bit of a look for the herb list again. I want to see if we can make sure we are producing a few more of the tonic. So this one we need feathers. They do drop feather occasionally though, without having to butchering them. And this one we need added butter, okay. So those are a little bit, a little bit more difficult to make. Strength we can do, chitin and uh, robust herbs. Okay, let's make two of those. This increased muscle of all the harfling for a while, also boosting their damage. So that's pretty awesome. That's some good stuff to have around when the battle comes to you. A strong antidote, that would also be pretty sweet, but we don't have a ton of robust herbs for now. We can also go for anti-poison potion. We do have a little bit of milk, and the sheeps can provide a bit of milk sometimes. Um, but I think we can actually see if we can get a few more feathers. So, our Poyo, you will have to go move you. Make some good food. But you will be remembered. How many ducks do we have? Four out of seven, okay. And also, if we want to keep this on rotation, we want to make sure we always get a few. So I have currently set up to four. If you have like six, set to four. Whenever they go up to like over, above four, and uh, then it will start to put you a few other animals. So you can maintain a certain amount so you can keep getting like uh, meat or feathers, things from the animals pretty much. I like cows, I feel like it's pretty good to just keep them because you can get some good tasty milk from them over time. And the same with the wool for the sheep. The sheep will be providing quite a lot of wool, which is going to be a lot of um, useful. Like, we can turn that into fiber with the weaver.
we can make a ball of yarn. Which uh, we spin animal wool into a versatile resource that can be used both as fiber or thread. So this is a thing we could use in uh, those uh, different things. So that should be good. We're gonna get some wool eventually. Let's see if we have some beds ready. Make sure to get some beds out. No beds ready. Okay, let's see, where's my shepherd at the moment? Sleeping? I want you to go out and make some beds, but he can also sleep. <laughs> it's looking beautiful in here, and also another thing, let's make sure we untick enable harvesting for these. It was recommended by Danny for a while ago, because then we will only pick the herbs whenever they need to do so, instead of going around and keep harvesting them. Look how cozy it is in here. This is where our herb is working, got all the potions, a lot of herbs sitting on them. Looking beautiful. So we are removing the harvesting from these because we're using these as a decorative flowers pretty much. And that will make your people happier as well because it's gonna make it look beautiful. With appeal vision we can see that. Breathtaking aesthetics. So in this house it should be pretty happy I guess. Matalan local hero, let's see. Content at the moment, let's see what's troubling Matta at the moment. A decent tasting drink, okay. Annoyance from the sky. I can't stand this boring tickling fin. Freezing rain, okay. Eat a bland meal, having a bad dream, okay. So we have quite a few bonuses, but they don't give an insane amount, and so this one can't do much, too much about it. The dream eater, bland meal. Could make it better. Eating a bland of serving of rose veranas. It gave me the strength to keep going, but the meal was so boring, okay. Maybe we should look into some a bit more interesting meals, I guess. I'm gonna see, we might have quite a few things to sell. Snow poppy flowers. Pretty good to sell off a few every now and then. A lot of bones. Yeah, there we go. We sold a few of them. So, let's maybe then look into some more food. I can see that the food doesn't look too exciting, like rose sauces might be good. It seems this one they don't really think it's very fun to eat. Yeah, let's look into making some more fun food. The more advanced ones, we might be able to do that now. We have some vegetables and so on. Honey is uh, used a lot as well for some foods. If we want to make this one, then we need to have uh, mayonnaise. Honey, zesty herb and raw pork. This one do not seem very far away to be able to make, except for the mayonnaise. But to do that one, we need eggs, yeah? Okay, that might not be too far away then. Tomt is back, Tomt is back, but you didn't manage to acquire the 15 second wheat flour, I'm sorry. We don't have any wheat, I can't grow any wheat. <laughs> I can't really do much about it, right? Hopefully get a different mission next time. And this one... Seems we haven't collected any glow mushrooms so far. I do see that we have a few down here though. Why haven't they put them in a stockpile? If I do that maybe? Let's maybe keep it like that. Let's see if that's gonna work. And... Um, yeah, let's just keep it like that. Hopefully they're gonna drop it inside. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure we have a little bit of space somewhere, don't we? Okay, now to pick it away. It might be... I don't know. It might be too early to say if there's like a bug with storage, uh, storing them or something, but... Uh, it was kind of strange. Where, where are they bringing it? Okay, into this one. Maybe they did just harvest it and I was just... Unlucky and got inside right when harvested it, and I'm like, why are they not storing it? <laughs> Could be that simple. Uh, but I think we have all of them now then, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. So now, guys, we need to just undeploy these. Bring them back. And uh, then we're pretty much ready to finish that quest. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's have a look. Dwalek returns. We meet again, surface dwellers, he says. Generally happy to see that you harvested a glow shroom. Very good, very good indeed. This will be very helpful. 
Now let me drop this in community, have a sack. With an effort, he releases it on the ground. Woo! Karuna couldn't have come today, unfortunately. I must return with these now. Thank you very much for everything. He leaves in a hurry. The sack contains 4 silver ore, 10 gold, 10 iron and 10 lumps of coal. Thank you, that's kind of you, man. That's kind of you. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, now we have a lot of wood up here. That's awesome. Everyone is working together to bring down some good resources into town. That's good. And uh, let's see, do we have any beds now? Yes, we have four. Awesome. So we're just gonna plop these down under here. As long as there's roof over, I think we should be fine. Let's just keep adding a few of those. And hopefully they will work out pretty good. So there we go, five of the beddings. We'll have two sheeps for now. Plushy toy rabbit. What do we need? Let's see. To do this one. We need fine stuffing. That should be fine. I don't know why they haven't queued it up though. Should be out of queued. Let's just make one, I guess. And put it over there. And let's make it a little bit of jarn, perhaps. And let's stop making thatch bundles. We're not gonna use thatch uh, for making those anymore. And instead, I think we're gonna focus on using jarn. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put to maintain for jarn all the time. And like I said before, they can use us thread and fiber. Somebody bring a list of presents. Let's see what they got this time. I can't really, I can't craft any of those. That's gonna be hard. I think maybe we just need to skip that one if that's gonna be the thing to keep asking him for. I guess if we abandon it, maybe we'll get a different one. I don't know. Let's give it a go. So I would like to build our ship as well. That would be nice. We're gonna need 10 shields. I wonder if it's gonna be troublesome for people to put the shields at the side here though. Because it's right next to the... I don't know. We will see if it works. It might be that they can't place that one because that one is sitting too close. Because the shield take a 3x3 three three and it's not free space 3x3 three three available. So let's see. So we have ladders to go down, so that should be fine. We have we have all the wood. We just need to make some shields pretty much. And we have queued up to do so. So this should be done fairly quickly. Come to bring gift request. Okay, there's here's a new one. Oh my god, what do you want? Ten plushy toy rabbits? That's crazy. <laughs> Ten plushy toy rabbit. Gonna play around with them all. Come to will be back in two days and collect this gift. I mean I know I like I know I'm not gonna be able to do this one. That's crazy, crazy request. I'm just going to skip that one and hope for a better one next day. Because that was a little bit too much of an request, Tomty. Not ten of those, I can't even afford to make one. <laughs> not until I have all my fluffy sheep, we only have two for now. But uh, as we get more, they're going to be able to, you know, bring some new children, some new sheep into town. Oh, wow, one. This one looks crazy. Oh, and that looks normal again. <laughs> They're really cute though, I love the animals, they're so beautiful. But maybe... Oh, I was about to say, don't, don't poo in your bed, but that was actually some grass, it looks like something else. Okay, let's make sure we add uh, a ladder so we can go down to the bottom over here. And uh, let's remove this one of fishing here for now, might add it back it later on. And uh, I'm thinking of moving maybe the blacksmith kiln potentially next to where we're building our blacksmith building to just have it a little bit closer. And later on we'll see exactly where we're gonna have it. But for now I'm gonna move it over over there for now. And uh, let's move this one over as well. Like so, there we go. And let's see my shepherd. I feel like my shepherd is my shepherd sleeping all the time. 
Because he hasn't been outside yet to do his job with this thing. With the chickens. Do we need maybe another shepherd? I don't know. Do we? It feels like um, a shepherd has been sleeping forever. Oh, Tromty brings a new list of presents again. I can't do that one. I can't craft them, so that's impossible. Oh, nice! Tin full coral. We got us some slab of butter. That's awesome. Super kind of you. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's let's see here. Mayonnaise. If we're gonna do that one, we're gonna need a jug of cooking oil and a jug of vinegar and some eggs. It's pretty pretty advanced to do a lot of things here. I, I kind of like that it, but it's also is quite advanced as well. I'm gonna put to maintain that jug of cooking oil. Can I cook to that one? I'm guessing it is this one. They don't have the same name, but I'm guessing it's this one. And then we need the vinegar. And vinegar, I think we have to have a brewer to make that one. I feel like it's it's maybe time to get the brewer. We can get some delicious better drinks. So let's see, I think it was Herbalist that becomes the brewer, so maybe Finna. Maybe you can become my new brewer. I think we should have a tumbler to promote. There we go. So why I took Finna is because uh, she has a really really high spirit. The higher spirit you have, the more likely you are to craft high quality items. I can do that one. I can make the big presents, but not other ones. Oh, thank you for Brax and Stone Rabbit, thank you. Okay, here we go. We got our little beautiful brewer. Simple drinks with no more than a table and a small press. The brewer can prepare very simple drinks like juices or taps serving kegs and pitchers. Okay. Ah, hmm. let's make this one first then. Use the bunny brew for crafting simple drinks and, in and ingredients. And later on we can do treading vats. The brewer can use this vat to trample over fruits, crushing them and starting their fermentation. Treading vats are used to make must, which is then fermented into wine. And then we have wine cask here that we can use this vessel. The brewer is able to ferment different wines from fruit must. Wines are both valuable commodities and ex exquisite beverages. What do we know? Oh, I feel like this one is new since last time that I played. The brew may use this frame to let a certain product dry before they can be used. Both tea and coffee require drying during their production. That's cool. So this one is new since last time that I played. So it's probably pretty new with updates, I guess. And here we have fermentation, mead. Okay, so we make this one and then we put it into a wine cask. So into one of these, and then we can get some vinegar. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go towards that, even though we can't really do it now. Bucket of sweet potato juice. Mm. Consuming applies satisfied belly. This half thing will grow hungry more slowly while the effect lasts. Oh, that's cool. So, eight mild satisfying servings. And it should be better than water, guys. It's an upgrade from water. So I'm gonna maintain maybe more than five. Since let's maintain 10, because that's like the only drink we can do for now. So we don't want to drink the water. I like water, but you know, it's good to have a little bit of extra taste sometimes. Sisla Qatar is visiting Birka. Very nice. Strange trading. A small hooded figure approaches meekly. I've heard if you're vegetable, and she says, allow me to take some. And by my honor, it will be worthwhile to trade. Should thing, let's get you some baskets. Yeah, we have a lot of them. We're, we're going down in vegetables now. We are giving away everything. <laughs> the visit nods and thanks bounce away, basket and arm, longing after a, a grove of unusual grown plants. A grove unusually. A grove of unusual glowing plants is discovered. Not far from the town, a small amber ribbon tied to one. The visitor seems to trust you more. Okay, let's see if we can find them. Not far from town. Here's some enemies at least. We should maybe go out and vanquish them before they decide to take us down first. 
I think these uh, ribbon things are generally pretty visible. And here we have Tomti, look at that cute little goblin. Tomti the late. Oh, okay, let's see. Twelve plushy toy rabbit, you're crazy. <laughs> That's an insane request. Oh, I think it's this one. I think these are potentially the things to set uh, with the bunnies. I feel like there's no ribbon on any of those though, but I think that's um, the ones that we're talking about. So I'm thinking of adding a ladder. You can get up there. And uh, then I'm thinking of moving all these back to town. And they look pretty beautiful, but the sugar bells uh, can be used for sugar, so that could be kind of nice. And where should we have them for now? Maybe next to the herbless house for now. They look kind of cool. Um, we can have them maybe around here. There we go. A gaze of raccoon is headed for your farms. Okay, so when you play Northern Alliance, they will sometime try to eat up your things. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna turn on combat for our people and we're gonna go out and use the maze on those little raccoons. <laughs> But I want to go deal actually with these guys outside of here. We had some kobolds. We have to defend uh, Tomti so she won't get attacked over there. Gotta protect Tomti at all costs, right? And we do have some buff, some tonic that we can use in battle if you want to. That's nice. Okay, then we have someone collecting. Jodis is over here. Looting a bit of those. Wild game has been sighted as well. Is that some new ones? So I think this should be fairly easy. What kind of weapon do we have on Banto here, the local hero? Look at the health. He has an insane amount of health. And he's... Uh, I'm surprised he's content. Like, look at the amount of bonuses he got. He got so many bonuses and still he's not happy. I feel like sometimes the happiness in the game feels a bit strange, like you can have an insane amount of bonuses, but yet they're not happy. <laughs> I don't know, I feel I feel that way with uh, the game. It's like, you have to have so many bonuses for them to be happy. Meanwhile, maybe like one small minus is gonna make them sadder really easily. I don't know, what do you guys think? But when we get some more drinks, Hopefully they're gonna be even happier then. Or tasteful things. We're just gonna start with take down one of them. They can use this one, get a bit more damage. Let's go with this one. Take one at a time. Ariel Evergreen, local hero level 5. Nice. Okay, Tomty, do you have a better request this time? Hopefully not like 20 presents of the toy rabbits. <laughs> Got some goblin raiders, everything at the same time. 14 plushy toy oh, guys? What? Tomty wants more every time, it seems. We also got ooh, a huge amount of goblin raiders up here. Okay, that's kind of scary. We should get some of those uh, any near uh, turret soon. Uh, I feel like we do have to... Let's cons list. Let's not go loot that. Let's defeat these guys first before we go anywhere. There's one more here. These guys do have some uh, demolitious people though, so they can break doors actually. Let's make sure we break their campfire and I think after that we could head home. There's one low little guy over. I think we can take him down as well. There we go, okay, let's see if we can catch up to them. Let's target maybe the chieftain. And let's make a run for it. Kind of far out though, it's gonna be a while until we get back home. But like I said, I do have a crew that can actually destroy doors, like the Olga the Silent here, who is a sapper. I can actually blow up the doors, I'm not sure how fast I can do it. Uh, but hopefully we'll get there in time, I hope so. Ah, oh, there's a little sneaky archer left behind in the back. Oh, there's some of Varanzas there as well, I think we should go to the front though. Oh, 
hopefully they ain't stopping. Why is he stopping though? That's kind of weird. I haven't targeted to attack that guy, yet he's attacking that guy. That's weird. Okay, let's go with this guy. Okay, they... Let's just run here. That must be a bug or something. And let's target this guy now. Hopefully it works this time. There we go, awesome. It's going pretty good, it's going pretty good. Tim the Gravekeeper, that's a pretty cool uh, title. Footman level 6. I feel like our cleric is doing an amazing job at the moment. It's like it's healing so much, yeah. Don't you dare taunt you to want even more to plush toy rabbits now. <laughs> Last time it was 14. Let's see how many it's gonna be this time, right? Ah, they did destroy Ah, oh, they destroyed both my doors, actually. Ah, okay. Maybe we need to stop the sappers or they're gonna break all the doors. Hopefully there's no sappers in town. Did they break that one as well? And that one too? They, they broke so many doors. Ah, uh, oh, this one is a door, okay. Ah, oh, that one is also a door. I don't know why, I thought it looked like they were like ghost objects. But okay, we're gonna replace those doors. Oh, there's a crypt up there as well. Let's go and destroy it. Should be pretty easy. It's, it's kind of good to go and clean up every now and then. Let's carry those over back home now again. There we go. Ooh, look at that, guys. They're building this one really, really quickly. Awesome. So let's see my carpenter. It looked like they weren't doing anything before. Okay, they are crafting some stuff now. That's good. Something I wanted to have a look on. I know I did so not too long ago, but I wanted to see what tools we have upgraded now. Okay, the blacksmith can still get a better hammer. Carpenter can get a better saw. Okay, we need some better spindles. Mm, uh, let's see more. Okay, we can start with that, I guess. Let's go to the blacksmith. I think we have them queued up already. We need to be a level 6 blacksmith to do that one, and this one level 6 as well. Okay, so we need to level a bit, I guess. But uh, potentially, maybe there's something we can do to try to level up a bit. We can make maybe some slab of coke. That should be good for getting some experience. And we can make, can make some silver ingots. Let's make a few of those. That should give quite a bit of experience points. Yeah, but we can also do a few of these. Oh, nine plushy toy rabbits, only nine. <laughs> the Tomty only one plushy toys, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> the withdrawals return once more. Okay, we're gonna check it out soon. Maybe Dwalak and Karuna's back again. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look, guys. The dwarves return once more. Greetings again. Dwarlock recovers his breath a little. Karuna stands next to him, and even her armor looks more ragged than before. Understand by now? You didn't expect us to return, however. Not an accident, right? Hey, I'm afraid there was another accident. This is probably the last one. Karuna turns around, eyeing their surrounding. He notices her with a glance, but looks back at you. We really appreciate the help you provided us with those items and the mushrooms. Well, I think that perhaps it would be best if we could take your herbalist with us for a couple of days. It will be quick, have me word. Karuna immediately returns around and stares at him, acknowledging her and privately gestures something, but continues speaking. I, I'm afraid it would be the best way to go. That way, they can help us with everything we need. Karuna is visibly annoyed. Look, it's all good, the says. Try and smile. 
we'll come back some other time. I'm sure you need to talk and decide first, he nods, but it would be real appreciated. I'm sure you understand. Heals are very important, and we need the help we can get now. Brilliant! We return tomorrow then. He scratches the back of his head, thinking for a moment. We'll be going now. Thank you for your support. We'll bring here some payment up front this time. They leave, but Karuna stares at your town banner for a long time before running behind him. Until tomorrow. Six plushy toy rabbits. I'm gonna try two days. Ah, uh, I mean, I'm gonna give it a try, but I really don't think so. Let's see. Yeah, that seems highly unlikely. Maybe if I like get a merchant, we can buy some potentially. Buy like Fred and maybe some some wool. Maybe. Two days. Okay, let's see for the merchants. Then yeah, we have to decide uh, with the, the dwarves later on then. Ah, they have some drinks here. Should we buy a little bit of milk? Oh, sheep milk. Let's buy some moo moo milk. We can make some butter with that. That's gonna be great. And maybe we can buy some... It can be nice to buy some drinks. I'm gonna do that. Normally I prefer to just, you know, make my own things because it's it's more like rewarding when you reach a point in the game where you can do new things. I think so. Uh, but let's get out this little brewer table and put it in one of my houses. So this one is gonna go in what house for now? Maybe this one. It's a pretty big one. For now, we'll be sitting in this one. Karen from a nearby convent has arrived with forging goods. Oh, this one maybe has some wool. Uh, maybe not, but they do have some mushrooms. I'm gonna buy some of those. There we go, awesome. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stone Hearth. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And next one, we're gonna speak with the dwarves again. And if you enjoyed, guys, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and feel free to join my Discord channel as well. Link in the description of the video. And I also wanna thank my members here on YouTube for supporting me on my channel as a content creator. And I hope to see you guys very soon again. So thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Take care.